Okay, so in this video I am going to demonstrate how to record an accrued expense, demonstrate how to reverse an accrued uh, expense account, um, and demonstrate how, uh, the impact of an accrued expense reversal on uh, an expense account. So we have got this situation where we got a power and heating and light expense account. We are at the end of the month and the end of, or oh, sorry, the end of the financial period that is on the 31st of March. And what has happened up until this point is that throughout the year we have paid uh, 3,000 pounds in power, heating, and light. Um, and we can see that's been paid out of the cash book. Normally it would be a range of um, transactions that would happen throughout the year, but just to save a bit of time, I just kept it as one. But we can see the double entries there. Um, so we are doing an uh, adjustment because we know that actually there's one month um, left that we actually haven't included in terms of heated power, heating and lighting within this period. So we need to include um, one month extra um, and that works out, we think, to be £800 um, because we think the next invoice we are going to get is for £2,400. So we are going to uh, record this um, accrual expense. Um, so it's for £800 and with accruals, whether it's income and expenses, we, it always makes the account bigger. So £800, um, name of the opposite account, accrued expense, and this happens on the 31st of March. So within the accrued expense account, we are going to record this as well. So uh, on the 31st of March, power, heating and light, um, 800 pounds. So we now generated an accrued expense account of 800 pounds. So the next step we're going to do is, uh, we, as because we are at the end of the year, what we have to do is we have to empty out uh, our um, power, heating and light account, all of our expense accounts, and transfer them into our profit and loss account. Um, so we do that on the last day of the month, uh, year, sorry, financial year, um, and we're going to transfer the amount um, into um, the profit and loss account. Um, so the full amount, including, so if we take into account that the accrued expense account has not been included, so the full amount of our power heating and light account is now £3,800. Um, and we, um, so we've done a credit here, so we need to do a debit in the profit and loss account of £3,800. Power heating and light, and it's happening on the 31st of March. Okay. So now the, uh, the consequence of doing that is that this power, heating and light account is now empty. There is no balance in it anymore because we transferred all of the value into the profit and, um, and loss account. Um, the accrued expense account belongs to the balance sheet. So we don't empty out the account. We simply just balance it off. Um, so let's balance it off. Um, so bal CD. Uh, 800 pounds and let's um, bring the balance into the next month so 1st of April first day of the next month of um, balance brought down 800 pounds so we are effectively now in the next period uh, so we are on the first day of the next uh, period, which is on the 1st of April. So we're going to do a new step here. And what we're going to do is we're going to reverse the account. Um, and when I say reverse the account, I'm referring to the accrued expense account. So um, the, uh, the profit or in, in other words, the balance sheet from that we have just sort of uh, created would have an accrued expense value of £800 in it. But we don't want that to be included into this next period. So what we're going to do is we are effectively going to empty out, artificially empty out this accrued expense account. So we want to start this next uh, year with on a fresh so it's got a balance currently of 800 pounds on this side so we're going to empty it out here um, uh, and we are going to empty it out by putting it into the power and heating and light account 
Um, so first of April. So we done a debit here, so we need to do a credit over here. Um, of eight hundred pounds. So right. So now we have effectively in the beginning of this period here, we have emptied out this account um, and, by, and put the accrued expense value of eight hundred pounds into uh, the power and heating and lighting um, expense account in the next period, in the big, on the first day of the next period. So what does this mean? Well, let's fast forward a little bit. Let's fast forward to the 5th of June. So on the 5th of June, we actually received the full invoice um, that we had taken a bit of, the 800 pounds of. Um, and we received the full invoice for this power, heating and light for three months. So we are going to pay this invoice. The invoice uh, amount is 2,400 pounds. Um, the name of the opposite account is we paid out the cash book. Um, um, and it's on the 4th of uh, January, or oh, sorry, 4th of June, 2,400 pounds. So if you actually consider um, the um, value we have got in here. So we have now received uh, and paid for an invoice of £2,400 and I'm going to actually just for good measure record it down here as well. Power, heating and light. I am aware that I haven't actually balanced this cash book off properly. Um, I'm just showing in the here that I'm doing a double entry. Um, but so in our power heating and light, we have paid this three months invoice of 2,400, but we have got this um, 800 pounds um, that goes in opposition to this 2,400 pounds. So in effect, um, the balance carried down almost. If you want to see it like this, let's just let's just balance off the account on this day, just so we can see what happens. So the 4th of uh, June. Um, Um. So what has effectively happened here is that we we received the full invoice, but £800 of that invoice uh, we had actually already taken and put into the previous period, um, artificially that is, and we have now um, then effect within this expense account we are now left with uh, the correct amount of expenses that relates to this period, that is um, an ex um, power heating light expense of a total of two months, which is £1,600. So this revert account, um, reversed account over here, sort of um, almost re reduces the expense account in the next period. But one of the key points that we also need to appreciate is that this um, this uh, credit value has been put on this side here. And that's it. That's how you reverse accruals.